Welcome to what will be the thrilling conclusion of Will Mako Fix That Game Boy Advance SP. Um, so a little bit has happened since I left off, um, but I will briefly go over what has happened. I picked up some junk consoles that I was going to use for another project. Um, you know, I figured get whatever the hell I can get and uh, fix them if I can and use them as is or, you know, cut them up, save them for the project. Uh, it, they ended up needing a few custom parts that I didn't have laying around, but I had this SP with the memory error that um, I was having trouble fixing. I figured I'd just pull the parts from that. And anyway, while I was pulling the volume potentiometer from it, I uh, decided, hell, let's pull off the SRAM and see what happens. And uh, you'll never believe what I found. Um, so either we're going to fix this thing, or I'm just throwing it in a parts bin because I have found the issue, and um, if this doesn't fix it, it doesn't fucking matter because uh, I've already pulled enough parts from this thing that it doesn't actually work anymore. Anyway, it'll still boot games, don't get me wrong, but that's, that's about it. Uh, I just realized I'm also missing a fuse, but that's that probably came off when I pulled that off. Anyway, let me go ahead and zoom in, and you can probably see the issue here. Uh, ooh, that's cool. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. So if you take a look at the uh, SRAM, you notice not all of those pins right here are uh, golden. The SRAM is sitting on top of the CPU right now. Um, you can see that little smudge in the corner. That was right over this area. There are broken pins. Okay. Oh, my stand is uh, jammed. There we go. Okay. So I just pulled this off with hot air. I know I said I was going to save it for a video, but well, I decided I wanted to fix those other two SPs first. But yeah, you can see, there he is, that's, they're screwed up. So before even trying to fix anything, I'm just going to try and clean it. See what I get. So that is not great. through the other side of the board. Anyway, it's not cleaning up as well as I'd hoped, but that pretty much narrows down the issue. Like if we scrape these This would actually be a good use of the uh, fiberglass pen. Let's do that instead. Sorry, what a riveting video of the back of my hand. <laughs> the problem here with fixing this, and why I'm probably going to just leave this for my parts bin, is because I have a project in mind that involves pulling the CPU and RAM from a Game Boy Advance and installing them on a custom board. Um, to fix this, I would either have to solder directly from the pins of the SRAM to the pins of the CPU, or somehow connect the uh, pins underneath the SRAM and still get it flat on the board. But I don't think either of those things are gonna happen. Because even after scraping that away, you can see right here in the middle, 
those pins are just, uh, they're not connected at all. Uh, so that was definitely our problem. One thing I can do is I could run uh, like magnet wire from the vias, but on the back and then over to the front again. But I don't think that's going to work out too well. Anyway, yeah, there's my problem. I'm not even going to attempt to fix this because, uh, like I said, it's missing parts at this point because I decided to fix another Game Boy instead. Um, even, even if I get this thing working, uh, if I get the SRAM working, this won't charge because the custom charge I see on this one is blown. Uh, I double check that because I pulled this off of another Game Boy Advance that wouldn't charge. And then when I swapped the two, suddenly this one stopped charging. So. That was that. Uh, I also had to pull the EM8 chip or the EM8 filter. Um, well, I didn't have to. I could have just fixed the other one, but it was easier to pull that since charging was already not going to work. Um, it's missing the fuse. Yeah, yeah, that's an easy fix. But, you know, it's just not worth it, you know? Maybe, okay, maybe I'll have a go at it. But it's not going to be, uh, I'm not going to try filming it. Because that's going to be a lot of tedious wiring back and forth. But just to <clears throat> put the nail in the coffin, as it were. I put my multimeter in continuity mode. Beeps when they're together. You can see I will put this on the very last pin. And you see, there's really no continuity. Oh, there is right there. Let's see if we can't touch that. Oh, that one appears to go through. Uh, the rest of these, I think, connect up on top. It's hard to tell, though, because the vias go under. But I'm pretty sure they go up here. So we can try guess and check. I'm fairly certain these pins right here are for the RAM and then these ones are for the video out because I can see the rest going uh, like the bottom ones are for the cart reader uh, the ones on the right here are for sound and um, button controls but yeah this one in particular is not connected anymore and there is just no good way to fix that because not to say I'm not that good at soldering, but I just don't have the patience for... Oh, I found the fuse. For something like this. And I figured this board wasn't going to be revivable, so I was not gentle when I was removing the uh, volume pot. I lifted two pads on the bottom. Now that one's not going anywhere now, but... It's not solid. And that one's completely gone, but that one was unconnected. Anyway, yeah, sorry. It's not the uh, thrilling conclusion that I may or may not have hyped it up to be. But at least we know now. Again, absolutely fixable. I have found the problem. Um, the next thing is just, do I want to go through this effort and find out that because of this corrosion, there's an internal short in this SRAM now? Not really. It's it's happened before. Um, but I don't want to go through that fix and then it still doesn't work and then have to try and swap the SRAM and then go through that fix again because the only way to go through that fix would be to solder to the pins on the chip itself. And yeah, I'm just done. Um, sorry for the disappointing video. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to check out the description if you want to see parts one and two on this thing. Part two, I went... A little bit more in depth than troubleshooting this until I ultimately found that issue. And um, part one was just a stream where I got this in a lot of consoles, but 
unfortunately, you can't fix them all. So, or you shouldn't, maybe. Anyway, I ramble enough. It took me 10 minutes just to say that I, I already found the issue and I ain't fixing it. Good night.